As a cyclist who constantly takes George Street back and forth, I noticed a lot of poor surfacing. If I were to hit these places, there's a very good chance that I might like fly over my handlebars. Members of the community mapping course run through the Blaustein School came together for our Are You Biking community mapping event in which we are using a public participatory GIS to map out the conditions of the roads using Mapler Mobile. It's a, a smartphone application in which you snap a picture of, say, uh, an obstruction on the road and then you can upload the photograph. It's great for people to reference uh, points um, among their routes that are dangerous that present them with hazards. Community mapping is a public participatory GIS. Uh, like formal way of saying is how to use the mapping technology to engage community in planning and decision making process. But from the process of doing community mapping, actually you can like, like create lots of the awareness, right? And also people can be more like tied together. We walk these routes on foot and we identified anything we considered to be a bike hazard. And we plotted these points on an iPhone and Android application. And we added descriptions, added photos, potholes definitely, traffic, um, awkward intersections with turning lanes, with bad views. We have created a map that in the end can ultimately be used as a tool for helping bring change in New Brunswick. It's like a small step to the absolute goal for bike lanes, more signs, and just creating a bike culture and ensuring safety for cyclists, pedestrians, and even drivers.